All right, I guess for the next group of videos, we're going to go over, um, oh, well, I guess it's always noteworthy that I've got a Game Boy Player for the GameCube, but eh, let's go over Super Nintendo games, because, you know, the Super Nintendo was awesome. Hence why I have Super Nintendo games. Uh, I've got Contra 3, Super Bomberman. I think actually two of these. Uh, the Multi-Tap came with a copy of Super Bomberman, so I got this and the Multi-Tap. I can play four-player Super Bomberman. Woo! Uh, let's see. In boxes here, very important ones. First of all, we've got Super Bomberman 2, which, you know, if you're, if you're going Bomberman, the second one, in my opinion... It's one of those better ones. And you may remember the very first thing I showed you was Chrono Trigger Remake. Well, I've got the original. Maybe I should be pulling the cartridges out just to demonstrate that I really do have them. This feels light, though, so yeah. Super Bomberman 2 is probably in the Super Nintendo right now. So... Super Bomberman 2. I'll put that right there. And then for Chrono Trigger, of course, I'm just pulling it out. Huh. It's It's got some maps in it. And then the cartridge right there. Which I've only just fired up. I've not actually played it. I can't even remember if I deleted the previous owner's save games or not. Uh, let's see. We've got Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, which I think is a good one. An important one to have. Based upon everybody's comments and the fact that I thought that I should. But I've not actually played it. I've only watched my brothers play bits and pieces of it a long time ago. What are these papers? Some people really keep their um, stuff. That's pretty cool. There's the cartridge itself. If it's in plastic, it's probably just been resealed. It's, may it's maybe even possible that my friend did it, because he has the, um, I think he has something that allows him to reseal. Uh, let's see. We're digging around down here. Super Mario World Yoshi's Island. Donkey Kong Country. Final Fantasy 3, also known as the Japanese Final Fantasy 6. Um, you know, good games. Oof. These things are kind of hardy, right? They can take a little beating, right? Star Fox. Kirby Superstar, even though I've got the remake. Uh, Gradius 3, which I've always really liked the music for that game. Lufia 2, where I only really got far enough to get a slime named Foamy to use as a pet or something. I think it was that game that I did that. Kind of hard to pick all of these up at the same time. Super Metroid, important, important. Donkey Kong Country 3, Donkey Kong Country 2. To Super Mario World, of course. And, you know, I really get nostalgic. Every time somebody fires up a new um, Super Mario World on a SNES. I mean, that game was... It, it's just great. Final Fantasy 2. Also known as the Japanese Final Fantasy 4. Uh, Mega Man 7. It's kind of hard to see. It's been torn up a little bit, but I think I verified that it's Mega Man 7. That game, Mega Man 7 is nice to have, even though I'm probably not going to do much playing. Because it wasn't my first, but one of my big tool-assisted speedruns was um, 
the first Mega Man 7 run. It's been um, beaten. Yeah, I think that would be the right word. Beaten many times. And, you know, I think that's actually happened to all of my tool assisted videos since I stopped making them years ago. But I think that's still pretty cool, you know, to have started that stuff. Um, and, of course, there's Mega Man X and Mega Man X2. I don't have X3. I never considered that oof, a super high priority to get because uh, I never liked it as much as 1 and 2. I didn't play them much, true. Um... I guess before I go on with the next stuff. Yeah, you know what? Y'all just reminded me. I have uh, Game Boy Advance games. And right now, one Game Boy game. Tetris. I'll probably at some point in the near future try and get the original Pokemon red, blue, maybe yellow. But I don't have those now, so I can't really claim that I have them or anything like that. Let's see if I can go through these faster. Because these aren't very... I don't have a good place for these, so this video will be a good chance for me to find a place. Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, handful. Mega Man Zero Three. Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. Zelda Four Swords. Mega Man Zero. Metroid Fusion. Mario Party Advanced. Advance. Ugh. Never played that. Me um, Mega Man Zero 2. As you can see, I am a pretty big Mega Man Zero fan. Let's see. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Where does... Oh, it does say it right there. Uh, it's a little blurred on this camera, unfortunately. Chain of Memories, Minish Cap, and Mega Man Zero Four. Wow. Huh. I wonder if hair is supposed to be found in there. How did it get in there in the first place? That was a dirty backpack it came out of. And, uh, of course, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Really important noteworthy because this is my favorite Kirby game. Basically. Hmm. I guess y'all won't be able to see this on camera, but there's a dent in it. That's really strange. Huh. Anyways, this is my favorite because when you play in this one, you know, at first it seems a bit linear, levels well-defined. If you know your way around a bit, you can start deviating really quickly. But it opens up. It gets wide open, just a lot of place to spawn explore and get lost and it's real confusing at first but once you start learning your way around it gets to be really fun and one reason in particular that makes it super fun let's see think think this is i got the one two three four copies of it which, you know, is important because, you know, nobody else I know is going to be able to afford their own um, Game Boy Advance, let alone hunt down Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Of course, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror isn't the only one I have um, four of. There's also three more um, four sword, Zelda Four Swords in here. Uh, let me see if I can find that fourth one. Yeah, there it is. So that y'all don't have to take my word for it. But I think I've only done two player of that. Okay, I think we have finally covered all the Nintendo stuff. So now we can start 
tackling my non-Nintendo stuff in the next video.